Welcome to the 2018 edition of Tirreno Adriatico, the traditional testing ground for the very best riders in the world, as their season begins to take shape. Movistar now coming towards the finish line. It's going to be just outside 23 minutes. That's going to be the first benchmark time, and then we'll know what to aim at for all the other teams which follow. So Movistar finishing with seven riders, all grouped together. Over they come now. They're about to stop the clock, and there we go, 23.08 or thereabouts. There's Chris Froome in second position there in that pace line. I wonder if he'll uh, sprint for the line. And if he crosses the line in first place, then he, as he moves to the front, uh, Chris Froome would then take the lead if Team Sky posts the best time. At the moment, he's on the front. Uh, Chris Froome, Garant Thomas close to him. Now, who will be the designated first man over the line as they come up to the finish line now and they will stop the clock, Team Sky, collectively in 22-28. Uh, that is significantly faster than Movistar. I think it was Geraint Thomas who led them across. Provisional fourth place at the moment. Remember, 22-28 is the best time by Team Sky as they drop down the provisional rankings. It's a moderate effort from Team Dimension Data. Uh, they don't come with a major GC hope, but they do have Louis Mikey's interests in mind. He crosses the line fourth in that uh, group of four, and they are 107 down on Team Sky, finishing in 23-35. That's uh, far from ideal as they pass one of the Dimension Data riders who has done his shift. That's Mark Cavendish. On a road bike. So it looks like uh, Cavendish has had a mechanical. 150 metres to go from Barre Merida. Losing time to Team Sky. And the uh, danger of losing time to Movistar as well as the clock ticks on. 23.05, 20 they can just inside Movistar's time. Provisional third place, 40 seconds down on Team Sky. Oh, he has gone down. He's had a crash, Cavendish. And that looks bad. He looks to be bruised and bleeding from the mouth. His shorts are ripped on the right hand side. He's gone down hard. Cut to the eye as well. It's already swelling up. As we look at Fabio Aru's team. Team UAE, Team Emirates now. 250 metres to go for them. Falling down the rankings a bit. Remember, 22.28 is the best time so far set by Team Sky. And they are going to be just outside uh, 23 minutes, I think, by the time the clock is finally stopped. UAE Team Emirates and uh, Fabio Aru, it's respectable. It is 23.04, that puts them in, on parity with Rigoberto Uran's team, Team EF Education First. This is fast, this is very fast from Mitchelton Scott. They're well within sight of the finish line now. Four riders still there, and they are going to go fastest, are they? It's going to be very, very close. Mitchelton Scott coming towards the finish line. 22 23, five seconds faster than Team Sky, and that uh, has come from nowhere. So, 22 now, they've got 23 seconds to get inside the time of Mitchelson Scott. This is going to be mighty close now. BMC lining themselves up. Ryan Dennis on the front and driving towards the uh, line now. It's going to be extremely tight. 10 seconds to get there now for BMC. 100 metres to go, 50 metres. They're going to make it, are they? It's going to be extremely tight. They cross the line with four seconds to spare and set the best time once again. BMC blasting through this team time trial. Peter Sagan is in their midst, so too is Rafa Mica, just sitting in second place in that line. Uh, coming towards the finish line, decent time for Borda Hansgrohe. I think Rafa Mica will be relatively happy with this. That's not too bad at all. Anything under 23 minutes, and he'll be making big gains on uh, some of the other GC rivals, Rafa Mica, the likes of Mikel Landa and uh, Vincenzo Nibali. 22 49, provisional sixth place, just 30 seconds down on BMC. That's not bad at all. Right, so Sunweb now are going to be outside the time of BMC racing, but it's going to be uh, very, very respectable nonetheless. Provisional second place, I think they maybe just slip down to third. Yes, they will, possibly even further than that uh, before they finally stop the clock. Still got 200 metres to go, finishing the team time trial here at Lido de Camiore with five riders, Dumoulin and Kelderman amongst them, maintaining their position in the general classification, improving it uh, relative to some so, confirmation of how things ended. BMC winning the day by a slender margin this time. Not the comfortable margins they've had in years gone by. Mitchelton Scott, their closest rivals, only four seconds down. Team Sky also within touching distance at nine seconds. 